So one of the ways that you can stand out on rounds and on your clinical rotations is developing the skill of making good assessments. So let's go through the building blocks of a clinical assessment. The mnemonic I like to use is April, age, past medical history, representation, investigations, and label. So let's go through each of these. First, you wanna have the age of the patient in your assessment. For example, six-year-old. Next, you wanna include the patient's relevant past medical history. I also like to include the words controlled with. For example, eczema controlled with topical hydrocortisone. Next, you wanna include representation. These are going to be the defining symptoms the patient experience that is related to the underlying diagnosis. For example, for asthma, shortness of breath and cough. Okay, so to summarize, so far we have six-year-old male with past medical history of eczema controlled on hydrocortisone therapy presenting with shortness of breath and cough. The next linker word you can use is found to have. This ends up being a great bridge to the relevant investigations related to the diagnosis. For example, wheezing on physical exam. You can also include relevant labs or imaging would support the diagnosis. For example, leukocytosis or a chest x-ray notable for hyperinflation. And finally, you want to clearly label the admitting or working diagnosis of the patient. So let's put it all together. A six-year-old male with history of eczema controlled on hydrocortisone therapy presenting with shortness of breath and cough found to have wheezing and hyperinflation on chest x-ray admitted for status asthmaticus. As you can see, an assessment has the pertinent information and is going to funnel into a working illness script or diagnosis the patient may be experiencing. And I hope that the April mnemonic helps give you a great framework so you can practice your assessments and honor your clinical rotation.